The Joint House and Senate Education Committees had their first hearing to discuss how Ed Bill, recently hired by the Republican leadership, is re-examining funding for education in Mississippi. Ed Bill CEO Rebecca Sibilia says the current Mississippi Adequate Education Program is a type of hybrid, meaning while the state does fund several special student groups, much of it is done outside of the current education funding formula, and Sibilia thinks it leads to inconsistencies. We're going to be making a recommendation uh, that bases all of the funding on student need. What that does is it makes for a very transparent and simple way of funding schools. And we think that that's both important to parents who want to understand what the legislature is dedicating to their schools, equally for the legislature to understand where those dollars are going. Ed Bill suggests a student need based funding formula. We believe that a student that has autism uh, in one part of the state uh, needs the same resources to be educated as a student with autism in a different part of the state. Uh, Mississippi's funding formula currently does not do that for special needs students. That's one of the reasons why we consider it to be a hybrid. Sibelia says Ed Bill will make suggestions based on what lawmakers want to see in a revised formula. Georgia recently worked with Ed Build on funding revisions. So it was not a process where we made a host of recommendations and the subcommittee deliberated on those. It was a step-by-step -step deliberation on what the priorities were for Georgia and our recommendations related to what their stated priorities were. Senator Bryce Wiggins says he still has some questions, but he was hopeful following the meeting. I guess the biggest takeaway from this, uh, and Senator Blunt brought this point out, that having these things in the formula goes a long way. While Senator Hob Bryan let it be known that he is not a fan of the process or the idea of an MAEP makeover. This is an attempt to move in the direction of vouchers because the Lieutenant Governor and the Speaker and their funders and the people that are driving this fundamentally believe in vouchers. According to Sibelia, Ed Bill plans to have a preliminary draft of recommendations for the legislature by the end of the year. The Joint Committee does not have dates set, but they do plan to have more meetings in the future. For Mississippi Today, I'm Gabriel Austin.